See how many people died for what you are enjoying right now. See how many people was lynched. And when they came, I want you to know, I don't care what country you came from. I don't care whether you are black, white, or whatever. Africa is where all human race begun. Check your history. When they checked back to see where the human race began, it was in Africa. It was in Africa. It wasn't here in America. All human race came from Africa. And so I'm saying to you, we might come over on different ships, but we in the same boat now. And as God said, none is better than the other. Jesus died for all. And you are no better than me, and I am no better than you. Because that's why Jesus came to set us all free. And if we don't remember that, and we're not reminded daily of where, what God has done for us, we will start getting big head. Thinking that we have arrived. And we haven't. And that's what I'm saying to you today. We haven't arrived. We need to be on our knees thanking God and praising God for what he has done for giving us these little clothes that we got and these nice things because you know what? People died. They were lynched. Lynched every week. People lynched. They were fighting for rights that you were enjoying. They didn't enjoy them. They did not enjoy the rights that we had. And so young people, young people, you need to look and even though sometimes you think history is boring, you need to read a little bit about what they did for you. Amen. That you can go to school and you can ride on the bus and you can do these things and be equal. Even though there's still prejudice, even though there's still racism and discrimination, if, if you are a child of God, I don't care how young or old you are, you can let them know that God died. God sent his son to die for all. And we're all the same. But see, you got to be bold enough to, to say it. Bold enough to say that I am somebody. Because God made me. And he, he made me marvelous and wonderful. The Bible says so. So I'm saying to you, parents, teach your children. Parents, tell them when they get on that internet to look up some of their history. Let them know that this didn't come easy. You see, you go out and buy them all these things, and they think the iPods and the cell phones and everything, you know, the internet, they think it coming easy, but it don't come easy. Somebody died, that you may have a right to the tree of life. Somebody died, that you will be able to wear those clothes. Somebody died, that you will be able to sit on the bus in the front of the bus. Somebody died that you will be able to have that good job. Somebody died that you will be able to stand up anywhere. Somebody paid the cost. I said, somebody paid the cost. You ought to be glad about it. And you'll be able to be proud and say, I am. I am somebody. I am somebody. to look down. Yes. As I told you, you may not know your history, but every human race, yes. every human man, the race stemmed from Africa. Yes. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Every race of people came from Africa. Yes. And so when somebody tell you that you black as I don't know what, you some black of the baby, the sweet of the juice. Yes. You don't have to look down because your skin is dark. Yes. You don't Take a back seat because people die that you have that right. Not only Jesus, but Dr. King and many, many others. Harry Tubman, so, so many of them that died to fight the fight that you be able to have these rights. Yes, yes, yes. 
And what gets me is that our young people are not showing the appreciation to letting people know that somebody died for me. Somebody did this that I could have the right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. When I see him, it hurts my heart. I've been teaching school for 30 years. Kindergarten on. Preschool even. So many years in the elementary, preschool, middle school, high school. I've been in them all. And I'm telling you, it hurts my heart to see that children are not appreciating what their parents give them. What so many of our ancestors have died for. And I'm saying to you, the elderly, the older ones, don't feel so bad that you can't correct these children and let them know because you're supposed to do it in love. Say it in love. Let them know, I love you, but that's not right. I love you, but you shouldn't do that. It's nothing wrong with it. I tell them all the time. When I walk the halls of the school, I say to them, I love you. I said, and you're too pretty to be doing that. What, what you're doing now? You're a lovely lady. Pull up your pants, young man. If we don't tell them, who's going to tell them? And you know what? I find that so many of our adults are afraid to say, pull up your pants. Did mama see what you have on today? That's what I tell them sometimes. I say, did mama see you for your left home? I've had them to tell me, yeah, mama saw me. I said, well, you should not wear that. Some of the parents are not, not doing what they're supposed to do. I'm saying that that's why we got to be reminded, Pastor. That's why we got to remind where we come from. We have not arrived. I said, we have not arrived. And the people, just like in, um, I think it was in um, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy where um, 6 and 20, we said, tell them, when we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, that the Lord brought us out. Are you telling your children that God brought us out? Are you telling your children that God brought us out? But well, see, God, the Bible said to do it. So do it. Do it. For God's sake, do it. And if it doesn't matter, my mom used to tell me, go ahead and bust and be done with it. Because what I say, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it in love. They can get mad, they can pout, because mine do and yours do. But that's all right. Tell them the truth anyhow. And say, I love you, but that's how it is. I love you. But that's not right. I love you, but God don't like it. Always let them know that you love them, but you got to do what God said. Stand on your feet as my son comes. And you, you, I'm putting you on the spot. I asked Brother Ace to sing this song, so I'm asking you to come and sing it along with him. Alpha and Omega. Because see, as Paul said, it's not the Greek, Jew. It's none of one, but it's all. So neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised. Slave nor free, but Christ. Did you hear what I said? Let's say, but Christ. But Christ. Come on. But Christ. In all. And for all. Hallelujah.